What up, your boy T Bird here in the reaction. I saw this while I was doing a react to a more coming video. Was the top the uh, more worst more fatality from MK1 to MKX. So this one I came across is definitely interesting to watch. Cause I remember some of these though. This is the nine worst more comic clothes of all time. So you know, more common was the shit. And they were like the first of the fighting video games that had where you can kill your opponent by dismembering them, burning them up, and shit like that. And one of the first fighting games that had first games uh, back then that had blood along with Narc and many other games. So then that time there's a lot of just like Street Fighter, there's a lot of there's a lot of Street Fighter knockoffs, but some was good, some was bad. There's a lot of more common knockoffs. Whether it was just like more the original more combat, stop motion human form, or animated as well too. So yes, like so let's see what uh, games with clones are more common was deemed as the nine worst clones. Let's go. In the 90s, Mortal Kombat became a global phenomenon, mm -hmm. spawning games, movies, and awesome techno music. Lots of developers tried to hop on the bandwagon and grab some of that blood-soaked cash for themselves. Here are the nine worst Mortal Kombat clones of all time. <laughs> so he says that. Oh God! Really? Ultra Vortex. Ultra Vortex is a horrible Mortal Kombat clone on the Atari Jaguar. The Jaguar. fatalities include some hilariously overdone decapitations, really? and other displays of extreme violence. They even had a fatality that strangely transformed the loser into a pile of steaming feces, which is an excellent metaphor for the game. That's what the fuck? Ew! That's some bullshit. The way of the warrior. Would you believe that Uncharted and The Last of Us developer Naughty Dog made a terrible Mortal Kombat clone? Well, let us introduce you to The Way of the Warrior on the- I heard about this one! What the fuck? Oh my god, I like shit. Ew! This oh my god! That wannabe featured stiff controls, crazy high jumping, they and was horrendous fucking, animation. They was fucking Every stiff as fuck! Every studio has to start somewhere. <sighs> The fuck? War Gods! I right, should be playing this! The Nintendo 64 mm -hmm. game War Gods was made by Midway itself, so it can be seen as the bastard son of Mortal Kombat. It had some of the worst shit. 3D fighting ever created, oh my and God. the different War Gods were far from impressive. The game failed horribly and ruined Midway's dream of having two successful fighting franchises. Right. Oh my god, man. Hey, Danny. Kasumi Ninja, select your fighter. Habaki, select your opponent. Alaric. Yeah, they still looking terrible when you pick. Entering the combat zone. The, Kasumi the Ninja is the worst the Mortal Kombat clone on the Jaguar, even the outshining fuck? Ultra Vortec. The game has two oh distinct features, health bars that drip blood, and a Scottish fighter that launches fireballs from under his kilt. Oh. <laughs> Stop! We love how the announcement... Stop! No! Where the fuck is coming from? Child, don't mess it. What the hell of bullshit? Shadow War. What the fuck? Shadow War of Success. Oh, I'm not even, I'm not even this one. One of the most poorly programmed Sasha. games ever released commercially. The game has completely unresponsive controls, horrible sound effects, and very unresponsive Nah, I wasn't that one. Because I'm, I'm trying to remind me of Mortal Kombat. Watching the play, that shit was fucking ridiculous. That was fucking ridiculous. The game also tells you to finish enemies without there being any actual fatalities. How lame is that? Yeah. What the fuck? They ain't this one. Bloodstorm! Oh my god! 
This was not bad, but I fucked with it though. The arcade game I remember this one. Trying to combine the art style of Street Fighter uh -huh. with the gore of Mortal Kombat. This is Kombat. like the first. This is like the first animation that shot with Mortal Kombat style. Decapitate each other at any point during the match, which actually made for some pretty original gameplay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bloodstorm ultimately failed to make an fall. impact in the yeah, 1990 scene, but it wasn't for lack of trying. Uh -huh. Anybody can get it. Anybody can get it there. Survivor or what the Survival fuck? Arts is another failed attempt of copying Mortal Kombat's arcade success. The game featured extremely large fighters that mm -hmm. looked like a grainy mess. Yes, Having big is. characters made the fighters look even more clunky than most yes, digitalized fighting games. <laughs> the absolute low point comes when you finish the final boss and little Hitler head starts spewing out of his corpse. Real classy, guys. The fuck? Bio piece. I don't know. I don't, nah, this one, I don't know this one. Bio Freaks was late to the Mortal Kombat party when it arrived in 1998 on the Nintendo 64 and PlayStation. This ugly fighting game took the action to 3D, which only made the fighting more clumsy. <laughs> Win. You know you've messed up when even your dismembering moves and fatalities are boring. Mm -hmm. Tattoo Assassin. Tattoo Assassin seems like an elaborate joke. The game was what the fuck? never made it to the arcade. Bro, Claus, come on, pussy. East, Holy it shit. To it. A nearly finished the version fuck? of the game was dumped onto the internet so gamers could see what they had missed. Oh, Tattoo Assassins claims to have over 2,000 fatalities. Some include deadly farts, ladies stripping naked, and characters that turn into random objects. I guess we should all be thankful that Data East had the decency to put a fatality on this piece of garbage before it ever had the chance to get out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Check out Zoom in TV games for all That was just horrible. That was just fucking horrible. That was just fucking horrible. Oh my god. Them games was fucking horrible. What do you want that wasn't that bad? What's the uh blood the blood joint? What was it called again? Uh, hold on, go back to that one. The, uh, it? where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it Um, what's it? Bloodstorm. That's the only one it wasn't too bad. It was, just, it was, it was unique, but I guess at the time it was like too much though. But other than that, them games was fucking horrible. My God, this. I'm trying to figure which one it was. I remember seeing them play that. That was played like that too. Well, then that. Wow. You tried it. <laughs> anyway, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T Bird signing off. One love.